What's up, with it? What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we will be working on Vader today. We're actually going to be swapping my stock 190 or 195 degree thermostat for the Summit Racing 160 degree thermostat. This should help us with our IATs at the drag strip, keeping the car cool. It's going to allow the fans to actually turn on faster than they normally would, which will help me, you know what I'm saying, with cooling down the motor. As you guys know, if you've seen the last track day vlog, the IATs on the car were super, super high, so the car started pulling mad timing, so much so that we were running 11, 9, and 12 O's at the track. gutted and on a Hoosier tire with all the carbon fiber. So my boys over at NRG, huge shout out to you guys, man. Christian, Brandon, you guys already know I love y'all, man, for real, for real. Always taking care of the kid. They literally overnighted a 160 degree thermostat from Summit Racing to me. Free shipping, all of that. Took care of the kid, we got it in. So right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the install. I did kind of start just a little bit, but I caught myself and picked up the camera for you guys. So if you haven't already, hit that like button right now and subscribe to the channel. Let's get further into it. All right, you guys, so the goal is to lose as the least amount of coolant as possible. So as you guys can see, I got vice grips on the main coolant hoses just to kind of hold them. The system is, you do want to wait until your car is cooled down and there's no pressure in the system. I already opened the coolant cap to make sure that there was no pressure. We are good to go. The car has been sitting for a nice little minute. So right there, this is going to be your thermostat housing right here. You have three 10 millimeter bolts. Once you get those off, literally this entire hose will come out and it will expose the thermostat itself. And then we can go ahead and swap it out. Speaking of the thermostat, let me go ahead and grab the Summit Racing Joint. So here it is, man, 160 degree Summit Racing thermostat. is literally, I ain't gonna lie, this part is mad small. So this install should be mad simple. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So yeah, man, as you guys can see, we got three 10 millimeter bolts right here. Go ahead and loosen these off and then this whole housing is gonna pop out and it's gonna expose the thermostat itself. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, you guys, once you get those three bolts out, you're gonna go ahead and pull on this entire assembly and it's legitimately gonna expose your whole thermostat housing. Now all you gotta do is decompress this spring and rotate it counterclockwise and then you can pull out the thermostat itself. All right, that's what it looks like with it taken out. And then right here, as you guys can see, this is the thermostat. You literally just pull that joint straight out. <laughs> this is so simple. And you're just gonna take this joint and plug it right in and then repeat the process backwards. All right, y'all, now that we got the new thermostat installed, all you're gonna do is put the thermostat housing back in place, bolt, bolt down these, uh, tighten down these bolts, and then you should be good to go. All right, you guys, so once you get those bolts tightened up, you guys see I did lose just a tad bit of coolant that was already in the housing. You can kind of see it down there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but all you're gonna do is go ahead and crank up the car, let it run, let it get to operation temps, and you should be good to go now i don't believe that i have to bleed the system solely because i didn't lose a lot of coolant and i'm not going to really be adding any i don't think so because it's still 
at the max line so we should be okay but i'm gonna go ahead and fire the car up and we'll see how it goes all right car is running I'm gonna let it run for a little bit at idle maybe about 10 15 minutes and we'll come back to it also I went ahead and recalibrated the O2 sensor for the P3 gauge just because the car was idling idling a little high and it does seem to be working again huge shout out to my boy Jake over at P3 cars man took care of the kid you know what I'm saying that's all I can say bro took care of the kid so actually P3 allows me to track my intake air temps let me turn the AC off I know that's just going straight to y'all so right now we're looking at 95 degrees on IAT1 and IAT2 is at 102 so it is climbing I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on IAT1 and uh, we'll just kind of watch it and see how it goes after it's done idling we'll let it uh, you know see where it gets to all right, you guys, the car has been running for a minute. It is definitely at operation temp. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the IATs real quick. This IAT1, it's at 113. And then IAT2 is at 129. good I don't see any leaks or anything from the thermostat housing so we should be good to go ahead and close out this video with that being said though y'all that's actually gonna close out today's video if you guys are new to the channel do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button drop a comment in the comment section down below get this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful for you if you're interested in swapping out your thermostat, I hope you were able to follow along with this video and do it yourself. Save yourself some money on labor and whatnot from taking the car to a shop and having them do it. But, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and close this one here. I'll go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.